Hello everyone. Today we'll quickly learn about the properties and styling of the drop-down widget. You can access the link to the documentation for this widget in the description below. Let's start with dragging the drop-down from the widget's inventory. It allows the user to pick input from a list of options. Now we'll quickly dive into its properties by inspecting the widget. Label it is a string value used as the drop-down widget's label. It should represent the information we want to gather from the user. Let's provide a random text. Now we can see the default label is updated with the new value. Default value. We can select the default value from the set of predefined options. This is used to set a specific value on the page load. For now, let's not update this field. Option values. These are the list of values for different options that are available to select a choice. We can either set this field with the sample values or use the query data with dynamic variables to populate the options. You can refer to the documentation to learn more about this. For now, let's use the predefined value. Option label. It is an array of labels for each of the option values defined above. It is used to display options with specific names. Option Loading State You can show a loading state in the widget using this property. It is turned off by default. You can also programmatically set the Boolean values by clicking on the FX button. You can also view the selected value of the widget from the inspector panel on the left. It'll be available under Components, Component Name. We can see the value getting updated here when we select different options. Events It allows us to add an onSelect event handler which is triggered when we select an option. Let's quickly create an event handler. Click on Add Event Handler button and enter the message you want to display. Now, on selecting any value, the event will prompt the message. You can explore different actions associated with the event handler as per your requirements. Validation. Using the ternary operator, we can add our custom validation logic for the input text using this property. Let's pick up an example to understand this better. You can pause the video and copy the following code. If the condition is true, the error message will be displayed. Otherwise, no message will appear. Tooltip. Under the general accordion, you can set the value of a tooltip. Let's try it out by entering the following value. Now when we hover on the widget, we find the tooltip with the assigned value. Layout. Toggle on or off to display the widget in desktop and mobile view. You can programmatically determine the value by clicking on FX to set a Boolean value. Now let's explore the styling of the drop-down widget. Click on the Styles tab to access the following options. Border Radius Change the border radius for the widget. I am providing it with a value of 8. Visibility Toggle on-off or programmatically set this to control the visibility of the widget. Selected Text Color We can change the color of the selected option. Let's select any color to see how that looks. Disable Toggle to lock the widget. If toggled on, we won't be able to select any value. You can also programmatically change this value. Align text. We can change the alignment of the container text using the left, center, right, and justified options available. Likewise, I'm updating it to the center. Box shadow. If you're fond of applying box shadow, then you can use this property. Let us expand the panel and set the value for the box shadow. This is what our final drop-down widget looks like. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching. Please like share and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates.